In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly discuss the difference between an open system, a closed system, and an isolated system. So let's start with an open system. So I'm going to draw an open container with water. So the stuff inside is the system, in this case the water. Now, in an open system, you need to realize that mass, or basically matter, can flow into and out of an open system. So like oxygen gas, it can enter and it can leave the system. Now the second thing is energy. Energy such as heat or even light can flow out of or into the system as well. And so that's an open system. Both energy and matter can flow into or out of such a system. In a closed system, in this case, I'm going to draw a sealed container. Matter cannot flow into or out of a closed system. So oxygen gas from the air cannot enter. So I'm just going to put an X. However, heat energy can flow out of or into the system. So a closed system is not insulated to heat. Heat can easily flow into or out of the system. Now, in an isolated system, we have a closed container that is very well insulated. So like a closed system, matter cannot enter and matter cannot leave. So water cannot escape out of this closed system. And this time, heat energy cannot escape either. And heat energy cannot enter. So it's extremely well insulated. So in an isolated system, nothing can enter and nothing can leave. So just to review, in an open system, matter and energy can enter or exit an open system. In a closed system, matter cannot transfer into or out of a closed system, but energy can. And in an isolated system, nothing can enter, nothing can leave. Matter and energy cannot enter or leave an isolated system. And so those are the differences between these three systems.